Hi guys, it's your girl B. Michelle coming at you again with another Dollar Tree DIY. This is another lamp and it's another version of the, the candle holders with the diamond shape and also the glass candle holders here. And I have two different kinds. Um, I have one that has a round uh, top and bottom and the one from the Dollar Tree. Um, I also use the beads. These lights you can get from Walmart is a four pack. They are $3.97, I think, for the four pack. So I started out by blinking out the diamond shaped candle holder. So I did this version. This is actually for a client. Um, I know some people have been having trouble finding these candle holders and I, I've been having trouble finding more of them. I do have a bunch of them, um, but I have them in gray and black, but the client wanted uh, some in white. So I just came up with this solution and gave her um, a picture. I just kind of staged it up. Well, put them on, stacked it up without actually gluing it and sent a picture to the client and asked her would she like this, um, this particular version. She said it was fine. So this is what I'm creating for a client. So I will be using the E6000. You can also use the Fix All. So I also blinged out the candle holders and I'm adding more bling to this particular candle holder. I'm adding some rhinestones. I tried to find more of those square mirrors, could not find any more of those at Joann's. They only had the circle ones. So I'm using rhinestones to bling out this candle holder. And this is how it's looking. So you wanna clean up any excess glue. Um, with using this project and using those small strips of bling and those small rhinestones, there's lots of glue. She's probably gonna still be cleaning glue even after I clean it. <laughs> so I also went in with the E6000 and I'm going around the candle holder here. And I'm also gonna use the hot glue. I'm gonna place the hot glue onto the white portion of the candle holder. You can put it on top of the other one if you want to. I just decided to go ahead and just put it on here. And then I'll just stick it on top um, of the hot glue. So I'm basically just going around with the layer of the hot glue. And I say you can use the Fix All or the E6000 or some kind of strong glue for a more permanent hole, but the hot glue is gonna give it more of an instant stick. So this will need to cure for at least, um, at least a day or so. So I'm just using the hot glue so I can continue working. And I'm also, I also put the E6000 on the top candle holder as well now this this round candle holder i believe i'm not really sure if it came from dollar tree if there was an old version of their candle holder because i know i've had that particular candle holder for years i actually have two and i have another client i'm going to run it by her and see if she wants this version of this lamp as well because they both wanted to buy the one that i made for myself i'm not ready to part with that <laughs> so i also have um another one of these candle holders. So I'm using it on the top part. I found it was easier to use the round candle holder for the top piece. Now you can use the old, the one from the Dollar Tree as well, but you just have to make sure that your, um, your glue cures um, where it's gonna be even because it has that, um, a different shape. So, it was easier to use that round shape. So that's why I went ahead and used that particular candle holder. But now I'm just blinging out the lampshade and I'm basically gonna follow the same design that I have on this other lampshade. This was on a previous um, DIY lamp that I did. You guys can check out that video if you haven't seen that video. Um, so I'm just blinging it out the same way and I'm just using, I measured my diamond wrap um, and I'm going around and I'm putting rhinestones every, I'm putting a rhinestone, then I'm skipping two spaces and then I'm putting another rhinestone and basically just going around the whole lampshade doing the same, following the same pattern. And just placing a rhinestone, then I'm gonna do a, a two rows of the bling wrap going down 
empty and I'll skip those two spaces, do the same thing as I'm showing you here. So I'm skipping the two spaces and then I add the diamond wrap going down. So basically I'm just going to follow this same pattern all the way, all the way around. And then I'm going to go in, in between those two spaces and add a row of the Mardi Gras beads. But I'm also, also going to use the Mardi Gras beads on the top portion to give a more decorative look since this is a clear, this is a clear um, bowl that we're using as a lampshade. I'm just trying to do things to dress it up since you're going to be able to see inside of it. So I'm just going over the top with two rows of the beads and I also put a rhinestone in the center of the bowl at the top. So once I have all of this together, it should look something like this. And of course yours can look totally different from this. It's just the way I did it. Um, you can design it however you like. So it may, yours may not necessarily look like this. So basically after I did that um, part, I went around the bottom with um, some more monogram beads and I'm just draping some, I'm counting 18 beads and I'm gluing it um, in between where the diamond wrap is. I use those um, as a point where it can kind of hide the glue. So on the inside of the bowl, I used, um, I placed some hot glue and the beads and I'm gonna let it fall, but I counted 18. Um, each section is 18 beads. So from the diamond wrap portion to the next set of the diamond wrap, on the inside of the bowl, I use 18 beads each. So it'll have that draped look. And also you guys, with these lights, um, I did get these from Walmart. Both um, lights came from Walmart. One is from my lamp that I created. Um, you can't tell what I was trying to show you on here, but there's a big difference in the light, the quality of the light. One, um, the one that I originally had already is much brighter than the ones that I just recently bought. I even tried out the different batteries to see if it was the batteries. And you know what? I believe I had the same problem when I bought the first set because I bought two sets the last time and I noticed that one set was the same way like these are here. One was much duller than the other, so I took them back and exchanged them. And you may wanna just take your batteries in the store to see if they're gonna work uh, properly. And that's what I'm gonna do this time. They do require AA batteries. So for the small one, it requires three small AA batteries and for the larger ones, they require four. So I think I'm just gonna take it back to the store with the batteries. So also you guys, I think this is um, a kind of a solution to the napkin rings <laughs> that we can't find anymore. I think they may just be a seasonal item. I have tried to look on the website, cannot find them on the website. Um, maybe if I go to the store, it may be a different thing if I try to order them directly from the store. Um, but anyway, I'm using this as a solution to the napkin ring problem for now. These are the pill bottles and they are almost the same size as the napkin rings. Of course, they do have a bottom part because they really connect together. They unscrewed, I unscrewed all of them and I spray painted them. So this will be a solution for me for now. You can try this if you want. Um, and you can also still bling it out. So I did spray paint them and I'm going to use diamond wrap when I get those lights replaced and I'm going to use this for the client's um, lamp. So this is a um, another solution for the napkin ring problem for those of you that have been trying to find napkin rings because I know I've been trying to find them and cannot find them. So this will work for now and you want to make sure that you spray them heavier than what I did. So. So this is also a look of the lamp. Um, the client did not want the bottom part with that uh, mirror, so I did not include the mirror on the bottom. And I also added a, a row of the beads where the glue, um, where I adhered the glue, and well, the candle holder, where trying to conceal the glue here, where the candle holder, um, the two candle holders meet. 
So basically I'm just adding a row of the beads to cover up any glue, excess glue. So that's how that looks. And this is going to be the final look. So I just put it on my table, just stage it up. Um, just to show you guys, this is actually a really short um, lamp here. I asked the client if she wanted it taller because I could have stacked um, more candle holders on top to make it a little taller. She didn't want it taller. So that's a look at the inside. This is how it looks with the um, little light fixture on. And for this, you can actually just press it um, to cut it on and cut it off if you want, or you can just lift up the lampshade and press the light to turn it on either way. Um, it will work either way. Um, so that's it you guys uh, thanks for watching and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do so and i appreciate you for all of your support thanks again you guys until next time bye